go to Malta. And um, our next presenter quit his job as the CEO of Malta's largest nonprofit last year to set up his own coaching business, as well as to focus efforts on employment creation for persons with a disability. If you ask people around him, what is typically Nathan, they say, not shaken and not stirred. Please welcome to the stage, Nathan Farutia. Every year, millions of euros and countless teaching hours are invested to teach children with disabilities, to help them gain their full potential. But then, in adulthood, this is lost. Very few of them actually manage to use that potential in gainful employment. Most end up in low-grade job shelters, day centers, or on the benefits trap. This is a huge waste of human capital. As I said, I spent my last 15 years working, developing charities that had this education. I ran marathons and did crazy challenges to raise funds for these causes. But I realized that charity wasn't going to solve the problem. We needed something else. So I quit my job and I approached a number of business friends who own their own businesses and we created Empower. The idea was to listen to the businesses and see what was happening, why it wasn't working. And they said productivity issues, lack of expertise, lack of support, and I think a healthy dose of fear. So we set out to address those things. We created mixed ability teams that we put in their business. We took business processes and we sliced them up and matched the parts to the strengths of the individuals in that team, together adding value, making it sustainable. In fact, 90% of our employees have a disability. And it works. It makes sense. It makes sense because we created the paradigm shift. We made business play to the strengths of the individuals rather than the other way around. We work in hospitality, we work in packaging, data management, document management systems. In essence, we can fit in most businesses because with some creativity and some ingenuity, we can change a disability into an ability. Work gives us our identity, gives us our purpose. If you are a business owner, or can influence one, please look at our model. Because there's no more motivating thing than helping a person find their identity and find their place in this world. And you have their smiles to thank you. Yeah, I think this. Uh, I think you're solving quite a big problem, indeed. Um, are you planning to? So I'm supposed to attend this people's forum. Or are you planning to go outside Malta? I'm supposed to attend people's forum. We started in Malta, forum. conversing with other organisations overseas. We've managed yeah, to secure how much time I have to do it. Yeah. Where all the funds that are the chair of the to governments who are not reaching quotas come to the new foundation. So we employ job coaches to make sure that all the people within the mixed ability teams have full time support. So therefore, it's no cost to the business. Their productivity covers their costs, covers their wages. Okay, and it's, uh, not, it's, it's uh, physical disability as well as... Uh... It's mostly intellectual, autism, learning difficulties. Okay. But some physical disabilities to do certain tasks. Okay, yeah, okay. What is today your biggest challenge to implement this project? Changing the minds of the business owners. It's really about trying to get them to convince, to convince them that it works. So, we, our, our ask is, have a go, try it, let's put a team in. Give us a business process, we'll take care of it, and look at the results. And it's proven to work because we've got companies where they've opened their minds and opened their doors, where normally they would need to employ two or three people, they've gone up to 15. So, because, because it works. It's, it's fiscal sense, it makes sense. Last question for Kristen. Did it uh, work better in some sectors than in others? What's your experience? I think it depends on the complexity of the task. But this is where the creativity and ingenuity comes in. So if you can figure out how you can change a business process and break it up, there are certain elements of it that can be done by people who have maybe complex disabilities or intellectual disabilities. But then you've got strengths such as children and um, sorry, adults with autism 
who are very, very focused and very useful in doing things that are related to um, flow processes and websites. And so therefore, if you create those threads, then you can use their skills for that particular task. So it's really about trying to match um, the business processes and the individual threads. Thank you. Can you explain the not shake and not stir element? I have no idea what they can do. <laughs> <laughs> the okay, person well, organizes. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Furuji. <laughs>